Listen. If they put you in a cage, don't worry. It's not about the cage. It's about the glory. If they say they've locked your children, your, your businesses in a cage, don't worry. Apostle Paul was in a cage. Paul and Silas, they were in a cage. Peter the apostle was in a cage. The prison is like a cage. But when they praised the Lord, they prayed and praised. The other prisoners were hearing and there was an earthquake. The foundations of the prison was shaken and the chains fell asunder. Their circles were broken and the gates, prison gates were open because as they praised God, the king of glory entered the prison. The king of glory. The king of glory. The king of glory. The king of glory. He would enter into your situation. He would enter into your circumstance. Look at Psalm 114. The Bible says, and when Israel left Egypt, from people with strange language, and Jacob, out of people with strange language, the Bible says, and Judah was their sanctuary, and Israel was their dominion. And the Bible said, the sea saw, and it fled. Jordan saw and it was driven back. The mountain saw and it skipped like sheep. And the hill saw and they skipped like ram. Okay. You have gotten to the place and the sea says you won't cross. When Israel was coming, what did they see and they fled? They saw the king of glory. What happened and Jordan decided to go back? Saw the king of glory. The glory. It's not the waters you are battling with. It's not the cage. It's not the mountains. It, what is important is the glory manifesting in your life. You shall come out victorious. I say you shall come out victorious. What about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego? They said bow, compromise. Say no, we won't compromise. He said oh king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. For our God whom we said is able to save us. We are consecrated. In other words, even if he does not save us, we shall not bow. In other words, we are consecrated to serving him and not just serving him, but dying for his namesake. He said, for we know our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from your hands. But even if he does not deliver us, we shall not bow. If you won't bow, you won't burn in the fire. So, okay, we will put you to the fire. Say, come on, you can do your worst. God will do his best. When they were thrown into the fire, the fourth man appeared. The fire did not consume them because there was the glory of God upon them. The glory of God gives you dominion over satanic powers, over hindering spirits. God comes and fights your battles for you. Who is the Lord? The king of glory. Mighty, strong in battle. He is the Lord. He will come in. He is the king of glory. When the glory of God is manifesting in our lives, demons will bow. Demons tremble at your presence. 